He was in the middle of what is certainly the most talked about moment in last night's Democratic debate. Former Housing Secretary Julian Castro questioning the memory of former Vice President Joe Biden. And joining me now is former Secretary Julian Castro. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. So, Paul Begala, political advisor from your home state of Texas, just called that moment disgraceful. We heard from an Iowa voter earlier this morning who was watching who said he wished you had laid off the personal attacks. You have had a night to reflect on this. How would you do it differently? Uh, I wouldn't do it differently. Uh, that was not a personal attack. This was about a disagreement over what the vice president said regarding health care policy. Uh, I'm glad actually that a lot of journalists overnight did uh, the work of actually looking at the transcript. The vice president had said that he uh, he didn't say the words buy in when he talked about his health care plan. He had in fact said those words, uh, but then he denied saying them. And I pointed out that he had just said that and now he was denying it. This is important because it's not about personalities. It's about the fact that his plan would require you to buy in at certain times, which means at certain times. that 10 million people would be left uncovered. And so I pointed out that my, my approach would cover everybody, whereas his approach would leave 10 million people uncovered. Uh, so no, I pointed out this big difference in our approach. And uh, no, Americans need to know that. I will talk. Know that, uh, I do want to ask you, uh, I do want to ask you about the differences in the plans and exactly what you were speaking about and exactly what Joe Biden said about his plan in just a moment. But back to what you said, because you said it wasn't personal. Not once, not twice, but three times you asked him, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already, you said, and then you said, you are forgetting that. Why did you keep saying that? Uh, number one, he couldn't hear me uh, in the auditorium. If you look at what happened, the video, uh, secondly, look, that's a question that I would ask any opponent on stage if I'm asking them in a debate, because he had just denied what he said two minutes before. So uh, I was asking him, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago because you just said it? And in fact, uh, when you look at the transcript in the video, that's what he said. Are you asking so John, us? Are you asking you know, us to a believe? Disagreement about are you asking us to believe this morning that you weren't questioning Joe Biden's memory? Oh, I was questioning why he was saying that he hadn't said the words buy in, which is significant to health care policy, when he, should, he had just said that two minutes ago. Are, are you questioning his memory? Are you questioning? I would ask that to another. Do you have questions about Joe I, Biden's memory? I was questioning. I was, look, this is, a, this is the, the game that the media like to play. It, this look, isn't a game, Se Secretary, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Secretary, just to be no, clear. No, no, no. Look, you said this said three times, and you, you are, you are a very skillful politician who chooses your words very, very because carefully. Because he had said the words buy in. Because he had said the words buy in two minutes before, and then he denied saying it. So, of course, I asked him, look, uh, you know, did you forget that you said buy in? This is important because it means the difference between covering mm -hmm. 10 million people in this country and not covering 10 million. Let's people. talk. Let's talk so about the policy. Then we'll come back. Then we'll come back to the memory issue. Just so people know what you're it's talking a about. Disagreement. Joe about, Biden said two uh, things. Joe, Joe Biden said two things uh, about his health care plan. They get to this issue you're talking about. Let's play one of them. The first is S23. Play that. Anyone who can't afford it gets automatically enrolled in the, in, in, in the Medicare type option we have. All right, he said that, which automatically enrolls. There are people under the Joe Biden plan who will be automatically enrolled in Medicare for all when they sign up for things like SNAP and other federal assistance, especially if they're in states not covered by Medicaid expansion. So there will be people, as you just said, some will be automatically enrolled. Then there are others who will have to buy in. Listen to what he said there. If you want Medicare, if you lose the job from your insurance company, from your employer, you automatically can buy into this. So he does say that some people will be able to buy in with subsidies. PolitiFact says of your statements about Biden, the statement has an element of truth, they say of you, but ignores critical facts that will give a different impression. So we rate it as mostly false. Your response. 
Uh, yeah, actually, the last time uh, they did a fact check uh, about whether his plan would leave 10 million people uncovered, they said that it would leave millions of people uncovered. Uh, and so what his plan does is it requires somebody, it requires certain people to buy into health insurance. What I pointed out last night was that my approach would not require an opt-in or a buy-in like that. It's actually an opt-out. Mm -hmm. That's a big difference because it, is it a big leaves difference. 10 million people uncovered in his plan. So that's what I pointed out last night. And yeah, that's not a, that's not a difference of personalities. That's an actual difference in important health care policy that's going to affect millions of American families. Uh, and I, yeah, we're up there to debate. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to point out the differences. If we're not there to point out the differences to the American people about our policy, not our personalities, but our policy, then why are we there? So, you know, I'm glad that we had the opportunity to have that exchange because people need to know that under his approach, 10 million Americans would be uncovered, and under my approach, everyone would be covered, and that's a big difference. There are those who will say, then have that discussion about the differences in the plans, and there are differences in your two plans. They're not as great as some differences in some of the other plans that were out there last night, but there are differences. Have that discussion is what some people looking at that this morning will say. And I just ask you again to be clear, because you said it three times, are you forgetting? And I think you do choose your words carefully. Do you feel as if questioning the memory of the former vice president is fair game? Do you think that's important in this election right now? I think that whether that was the vice president or that was one of the other candidates on stage, if somebody said that to me, obviously you, you uh, read what he said or played what he said. If somebody said to me in that moment uh, that people would have to buy into their plan and then two minutes later they denied it, I don't care who you are on that debate stage. I'm going to ask you why you're forgetting that you said two minutes ago that people would have to buy in, and now you're explicitly denying that. The vice president is, you know, I mean, he's been around for a long time, okay? When we're up there, we're up there to debate, and I'm gonna make the point. And so it didn't matter that it was Joe Biden. If it had been another candidate that tried to deny what they just said two minutes ago, I would have asked them the same thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna continue to point out the differences in our healthcare policy, uh, in our economic policy, mm -hmm. our immigration policy, that's why we're there. That's what the American people want. Mr. Secretary Julian Castro, we appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Three debates down. Thank you. More to go, sir.